first met you at a small bar in Gainesville, you were wearing ripped black skinny jeans, and I had no idea you would change my life forever. I got to know you more and more. I learned that you were humble, generous, and quietly intelligent. I found that you had the same morals as me, the same sense of humor as me, you cared for animals as much as me, and you wanted the same future as me. I started to fall for you when I first introduced you to Macaroni. I didn't know if you would accept him because so many other people didn't, but you immediately loved and protected him. Your first words to him were, oh, you're so handsome. And I remember how happy I felt hearing that. I just knew you were someone special. We've been through some hard times, especially recently, huge life changes and heartache. Through all these moments, you've always felt like a true partner and teammate. I know I never have to be alone in my fears and anxieties because I know you will always listen, keep me safe, and take care of me. I've admired your kindness, your loyalty to your friends, your caring commitment to your patients, and how much effort you put into including and embracing the people around you. I am a more loving and honest person because I'm with you. I, Emma, take you, Brent, to be my husband, loving what I know of you and trusting what I do not yet know. I promise to love you through joy and sorrow, to be your best friend, respect and support you, to be patient with you, and to work together with you to achieve our goals and share life with you. I promise I will be your equal partner in a loving, honest relationship for as long as we shall live. Dear Emma, to this day, I wonder why you decided to go on a second date with me. Considering on our first date, I wore skin-tight, ripped jeans. We didn't plan that. But thankfully, the date went well despite the jeans, and you agreed to meet up again. I knew right away that I had met someone special. I was captivated by your warm personality, your glowing beauty, your passion for women's health, your love of animals, and your witty sense of humor. I left that night with a big crush, and before I knew it, I was madly in love. This love was more intense than any love I had felt before. I tried to play it cool, but after just a few dates, I knew I wanted to marry you. I know that sounds hard to believe, but you've seen the video proof. One of my favorite qualities about you is your love of shelter animals. Many people go to adoption events and avoid the dog who's barking and growling in its cage. But not you. You say things like, I want to get in there with him. And you don't just say it, you do get in the cage with the growling dog. And as soon as you do, the dog stops growling and starts licking your face. I genuinely believe that animals can sense when a person is good or bad. And there's a reason that those traumatized reactive dogs at adoption events aren't reactive towards you. You give off a warm, loving, and safe aura that not just animals, but all people around you can feel. Speaking of animals, I couldn't leave Macaroni out of this speech. Meeting him, taking care of him, and eventually becoming his dad is one of the best things that has ever happened to me. I know you're grateful that I love Mac, but I'm sure you wouldn't be upset if I stopped singing songs about him. I've loved every second of being with you. I cherish all of the good times, and I'm grateful for all of the struggles. Grateful because I don't have to go through those struggles alone. I have you by my side, and we will always come out of it stronger. I've, I've had a lot of anxiety, self-doubt, and negative moments over the last few years, but you are always there to support me. You have patience when I have none. You always have grace when I'm acting out of emotion and you always show me how much you love me, even when I don't always deserve it. For that, I'm so lucky. It's been three years since our first date and so much has happened. You became the Eurogyne PA at UF. Several friends moved away. We made new friends. We went to Zion. We fostered three dogs. We experienced a shared heartbreak when we didn't adopt one of those dogs. I graduated from medical school and finished residency. We moved across the country and started new jobs, and now we're getting married. All of this has happened, and yet, I still get butterflies every time we kiss, hold hands, or you laugh at one of my dumb jokes. 
Thank you for all you have done for me, for loving me, for taking care of me, for having my back, for never judging me when I'm not my best self, and for being my best friend. I promise always to be your partner, to always have your back when life gets hard, and to always take care of you when you're too sick or too anxious to take care of yourself. I promise to always protect you, although we both know that you don't need a man to protect you. I promise to work on myself, even when doing so is scary or I'm busy, because I want to be the best version of myself for this relationship. I promise to love our future children and will make sure they know what an awesome mom they have. Most importantly, I promise to never get used to you, because you deserve to know how special you are. I love you, Emma. You are more than a partner, best friend, or soon-to-be wife. You are everything to me, and I'm so excited for the adventure that awaits.